getting to know yourself better seems sometimes a little bit hard, but actually it's quite easy. It is an easy thing to do, but hard to master, which is also called mindfulness. Here are three stories that mindful movement helped me uh, get to know myself better. Story number one. So when I was auditioning for my studies, which is uh, dance pedagogy of contemporary dance in Vienna, um, we had to improvise in the space, in the dance room that we were in. And I have never done that before. So that was like my very first time to improvise to a song, which was a classical song. I didn't know, I don't know which one it was specifically, but that was something that I've never heard before. And I got into the room and when the teacher announced the first time that we are going to improvise that day, I was scared shitless. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, before, so the context is, uh, before that, I've never done contemporary dance. I wanted to study dance. I wanted to study how to teach dance. I went there and I went for the auditioning. But before that, I was just teaching hip hop and break dance. So I had, I had no experience in how to, how to improvise. And the first time that I did that was... It felt great, so it, it felt liberating, it felt kind of... The things that I wanted to do in that space was present and I just did it without thinking too much about it. At that moment, it felt really great. And when I think back now, it was such an amateurish um, work, which makes sense because I've never done it before, right? And also I didn't, I haven't done it professionally as well. And I was asking myself, like, what is the difference between that time and now? Which is, um, of course, the professional experience that I have now, improvising in space. The key moment or, or the key thing that is definitely helping a lot is the awareness of composition, the space and myself. And that, that changed over time with... You can say it, I got more wiser how to improvise. And what that means is, or just, just in comparison, so what the teacher said afterwards when I was um, improvising was that um, I was like an equilibrium in the space. I was filling out the empty spaces of the space. But I've, I didn't do it on purpose. I definitely didn't notice that. And if... If I thought about, like, if I think about it right now, it makes sense. It's just like how I am. And this is also the conclusion of this uh, first story is that it makes you more confident. I got to know myself better just to work with the space, uh, just to improvise in space with my movements. Um, and that's how I got more confident in composition and also how I work with the space and also how to how I present and say things to get an idea across so the people can grasp it and understand it and thrive on it. So the second story is that I this was also during uni university. So when I was uh, studying dance pedagogy is that I didn't only find out about dance, how deep it was. I was so surprised to learn about dance in such a profoundly deep level. So when I say deep, what I mean is when I started with dance, I was only considering dance as being cool <laughs> and being, you know, wanting to uh, do the coolest trick and so on. Until I realized that dancing is more than showing off something that is um, superficial. It's also, it has also its greatness, of course. It has energy, you know, you, when you do a cool trick in breakdance, it has a lot of energy, it has a lot of movement, and um, it is something that's catchy, and that's totally beautiful. And, but that's what, that's just one fracture of the spectrum of your expression, and that's what I learned over the year, which is also the minutest movement can, um, grab your heart and really 
suck you into the uh, expression that the person wants to share especially when it comes from the heart I did a piece called from the heart <laughs> as well uh, if it comes if, if it comes from the heart then it is something that gra that will grab you no matter what the person is doing and I was asking myself a lot of time okay so if if it doesn't mean that in order to catch someone's attention you have to do a lot or like high energy output and if one person can do very little movement but an another high level energy output which is in the awareness of that movement the focus then what is more what is better the answer that i got is it depends so as a choreographer or as someone who's, who works with space and um, with bodies in relation to that space, it really depends on what you want to uh, express. And it's good to know the spectrums that you can express and how you can do it so you can implement the story elements or just the uh, movement elements in the right segments that supports that expression that you're looking for. So my point here is the more you're open for different kind of expressions, the more you can also discover for yourself that you are able to express that. And also imp through that experience, you can also implement um, those ideas and um, experiences into others' minds and bodies. Because I'm, in my opinion, you cannot transfer something to somebody that you haven't felt yourself before so that's that's the conclusion of the story number two which is the more you felt for yourself and different expressions and movements and dancing the more you can broaden up the spectrum of your own expression and then also transfer that into uh, someone else's mind body and spirit and the third story is I think this is something very common that everybody knows the moment where you are kind of upset the body goes into a rage, the body goes into a mode that is burning. The surrounding is very, it gets kind of closed down and you cannot see clearly anymore and something upsets you very, very um, highly. And those are the moments where the body reacts in a way that you are about to explode with an emotion that is not um, somehow clear or like you don't really know what what it is is it is it anger is it fear is it anxiety is it the mixture of those three and what I learned is that even in the moments where I thought I am about to explode even in those moments you can observe those sensations so what happens is for example um, I remember this clearly it was it was in the bus and I was very young at that moment I didn't know what to do so what happened is the the bus I was in a bus and I was standing at the door like right like right in front of my face it was the door uh, and it got and it, it and it shut and then the bus was about to go right and then in the next station the door opened up and I was standing there if you're over the line, what the door does is it doesn't close, it, it gets open again, right? And I was, you know, it, the, the bus was packed full and I was like almost like pushed into the border. But I knew exactly where the, where the lasers are, where the border is, where the doors is going to be automatically uh, going um, to open again. And I was aware of that lasers. Although the, the crowd was pushing me kind of a little bit outward, I was pushing myself inward so I don't get get across that line because I don't want to, you know, um, cause the door to to get open and the the bus uh, subsequently uh, not going further. I was just minding that line, and suddenly I felt my neck snap like into the front because somebody grabbed my bag from the back and pulled me so hard that I. Uh, it felt like uh, my neck was um, like whiplashing, right? I turned around and I saw this lady who was like angry and pissed at me that um, because of me, the bus is not going further. 
because there was an announcement that said please step a little bit back um, of the of the door because the door w wouldn't shut and I was so mad so mad that because I was thinking that I am going to do the thing absolutely like being aware and, and right um, and this lady just uh, got mad at me and just got physical and there was uh, there was always step me border and then I said to her you don't have to like pull me you can just say to me or just tap on my shoulder and just say it to me and there was um, I was I was quite young you know I was like 15 or something like that and there was um, with my shyness actually I that was the best that I really could say which uh, which was why didn't you just say it and this is a story that I am still like it is engraved in my system because it is very important to know yourself how you are handling yourself in a situation that is burning right so everything around you is like on fire through mindfulness through through the movement that you do f through the body reactions that you have uh, you can already tell what in what uh, situation or in what state of mind you're in and the more you can think about it and feel it how it feels you can then change course which is tapping into something that is more soft and not harsh and do something that is more lovely that uh, people can also perceive and uh, take example from. To conclude this third uh, story is that the more you know yourself better, the more you are expressing through movements, the more you will notice how emotions are also just movements within your body. So to conclude this video, I wanted to share with you the things that helped me the most to get to know myself, which is through movements, through getting to know yourself in those movements, you can grow and get to know yourself better and even also pinpoint the locations, the emotions that you feel, the movement of the emotions and uh, everything that is you within you and outward also the you in relationship with the outside if you're interested to get to know more i have more videos of, uh, talking about mindful movement and i also have me a meditation video if you want to check that out other than that if you want to support me i have a patreon page i have an instagram you can follow me there as well if you're interested in a course then i'm also making in a course and just don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you don't want to miss anything and I'll see you in the next video.